On this week's episode of Whitetail Cribs, we're headed to the Bluegrass State to tour Josh Prophet's home. Josh is a Kentucky coal miner and whitetail nut. Buckle up as we take a peek behind the scenes at the Prophet home. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss an episode of Whitetail Cribs. Let's get into it. The Exodus team is traveling around the United States to take a look inside the trophy rooms of some of the most interesting whitetail hunters in the country. From giant bucks, unique racks, and riveting stories, welcome to Whitetail Cribs. What's up? Josh Prophet, welcome to the crib. This is where we throw down. We do all of our fancy cooking. We're not much on cooking. Our fridge, it's a typical day. My wife loves pizza. And if you live in Kentucky, this is what you need to be drinking. my office. That's where I take care of business. And I take care of a lot of business. That right there is where we wash the dirty laundry. Nothing special. Come out here and show you the little truck. It's puppies. We, uh, we got a lot of dogs out here. So there it is, that's the uh, 94 Nissan hard body. It's for sale, 12 grand, cash only. Runs like a dump truck. I'll show y'all what I got in this tote back here. Kuyu, that's all I wear. It's packable, it's light, and it fits my hunting style. And of course, I literally have Cases and cases and cameras and cameras that I haven't got out yet. So normally don't have these all out till October. I don't have a lot of time, but uh, I'll get them out sooner or later. And the truck, everybody wants to hear about the truck. They gave $1,800 for the truck. And sitting there right now, real time, is about 12 grand. <laughs> Not very proud of it. But it's, uh, it's all been worked over. When you're hunting, you gotta be slamming. You got to have the trunk bigglies. That's it. So let's go take a look upstairs. So I guess I'll take everybody up here and show you where the magic happens. Everybody wants to see that. Our bedroom, we got another full bath and a walk-in closet back there, but y'all don't want to see that and you can't even walk in it. This is uh, Hazelbug's room, our four-year-old. This is the third bathroom of the house. Right here, my two oldest girls share a room when they're here, they're only here a few days a month. So that's their, that's their room. This right here is little man's room. I leave my bow, my wood bow on his bed. Just things that memorabilia of us. Him, he's been a killer since he was eight. I'll show y'all what y'all wanted to see. Come here. All right, so I'm gonna show you my trophy room. This is where all the thinking goes down and the madness in my head. 
This right here is my weapon of choice. It's Clementine. It is a double carbon G10, 61 pounds at 28 inches. The bow is 60 inches long. So, get you some shooting a uh, roughly like 620 grain arrow. Shooting iron wheels. Uh, call it the silver bullet it's a lot going on up there so anyways hopefully I get to break this one this one in this year these are my deer um, I'll probably go over my, my few that mean the most to me this is my first public land deer it took me a long time and the story behind that deer is um, I had a buddy or I have a buddy named Matt Bells and we always hunted together and um, this particular piece of property I'd never hunted I'd never not hunted there on Thanksgiving Day and, and seen a nice buck. And I told my buddy Matt, I was like, you gonna go with me tomorrow? And uh, he, he couldn't go. And at eight o'clock, I was calling him, telling him I just killed my first public land deer. And of course he come and helped me. So we kind of messed everybody's day up that day, but it's all good. This is my first buck with a bow. And I, it's from 06, October 22nd, 2006. It was a morning kill. Um, I passed a lot of deer for that. It's like a 133 inch 10 pointer. But that one means a whole lot to me. And this one back here, this was my first deer with trad, going trad. I shot it with a Hoyt Buffalo. Um, I think I killed it November 16th, 2017. So that deer definitely means a lot to me. I mean, they all they all have a story, but those are my top three. And I sit up here and think and think and think. And this is a, I guess this is where I get everything planned out, and mapped out, and ready to go. All right, I don't care where you go, but you gotta get up out of here.